What's going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, they did just reveal this very interesting card and the LTD Heroes and Player of the Week for Team of the Week coming tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and go over those cards. But first and foremost, Robert Hunt getting a fullback card is pretty interesting. So, um, you know... This is pretty cool. I like what they're doing. Uh, you know, we saw earlier this year with the record breaker, uh, a couple of cars that came out were Justin Tucker, uh, who broke the record for the longest field goal um, in a game, and then also Tom Brady for passing, well, who was it, Drew Brees for most yards. Um, so he also got that, uh, an LTD there as well. Uh, but Robert Hunt's actually going to get a set piece is what it's looking like. Uh, and this is pretty cool because obviously – He's an offensive lineman, and it's hard to find an offensive lineman upgrades other than heavyweight, uh, you know, the heavyweight promo and, you know, maybe some, you know, big-time promos. Uh, but, you know, he's getting a card here, but it's a fullback. So this is kind of cool. Obviously, we saw this. If you watched Thursday Night Football, you saw that he had um, – it was a design screen for the running back, and he caught it, and he took it to the house. Uh, it was just about a 10-yard catch and run, though. But it was pretty cool to watch. Um you know, this is probably the, the moment of the night, uh, considering that the Dolphins did go ahead and win the game as well. So this was something that they could go back and laugh about. Uh, but it was pretty cool. Obviously, it did not count. Um, but this is pretty cool to see him go ahead and get a fullback card and, you know, potentially, you know, a golden ticket later down the road. Um, so, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Obviously, you guys see his stats. Uh, nothing too exciting. It's just pretty cool that he got a fullback card. And the card art's pretty hilarious, too. So let's move on here to our heroes and LTDs. We'll start off with our, our LTD, and that's going to be Jamal Adams. Now, obviously, a lot of people I saw in the comments section on this post, they were like, he gets one pick and he gets the Team of the Week card. No, that is not true at all. Uh, this was actually from 2019. I believe he had nine total tackles, two sacks, two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery, and a touchdown. So he was all over the field a couple years ago for the New York Jets. Uh, and that is why he's getting a card. The LTD is always a player from who still plays, uh, who who previously had a good week, whatever we're in, week 10. So, for example, Jamal Adams had a good week 10 in 2019. That's why he's getting the LTD card. This card's pretty good, guys. This card is pretty darn good. Obviously, a little slow for 95, but still definitely usable. Uh, you could use room, which I probably would use her. Uh, I really like run support safeties to be a user. Jamal Adams is a phenomenal uh, player to use because look at his hit power. Um, it's pretty crazy. But he does have 92 speed, 93 excel, 94 tackling, 95 play right, 95 pursuit, 87 man, 93 zone coverage, and 96 hit power. So powered up. You can get his hit power. I think you can get him up with chemistries, but obviously you're going to want to use stuff like in the zone and stuff like that. Uh, but 97 hit power at this time of year is still absurd. Let's move on to the next guy. But yeah, that Jamal Adams is pretty nice. Our hero, obviously you guys see the overall increase as well. Uh, Jake Plummer. He's also going to get the Broncos chemistry, so you're going to have Cardinals and Broncos chem. Uh, but this is not a bad card. A scrambler, which is interesting for Jake Plummer. Um... In Scrambler, you normally see Scramblers have like 90 up to 95 speed, but you know, a little slower here with Jake Plummer. Uh, but I thought it was kind of interesting to see him get the Scrambler arch archetype, uh, maybe more of an improviser or something like that. Uh, but hey, gets a Scrambling, he's a Scrambler archetype, archetype uh, and he does go ahead and get 86 speed, 92 throw power, 91 short, 94 medium, 89 deep. So powered up hits every threshold there. 91 throw under pressure, 94 throw on the run, and 92 play action. Uh, so yeah. There's Jake Plummer, um, and then we're also going to get Elvis Doomerville, um, and I want to double-check his team, Kims. I know we get San Francisco, too, because I remember him in his last year play for San Francisco, but I want to say he played for another team, but as we'll, uh, as I'm looking it up, we'll go over his stats here. So he does go ahead and have 86 speed, so same speed as the quarterback, Jake Plummer, 91 XL, 85 strength, um, 94 tackling, uh, 94 play rec, 79 block shed, and nine, uh, 91 power move, and 94 finesse move. Uh, so a really good looking card. And the other team, Kim, is the Broncos. So he played for the Broncos for actually more than he did at the Ravens. 
Uh, but he had a better game here for the Ravens, so that's why he gets his card out. Six years in Denver, four in Baltimore, um, and one in San Francisco. Uh, and then Jake Plummer, I think I already mentioned, he does go ahead and get Denver and Arizona. So Denver Broncos, same team, getting a couple of upgrades here with Doomerville. Uh, along with Plummer and then your player of the week. It was pretty obvious after the performance he had last night. Uh, it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. 75 speed, 93 throw power. That's tough. Nine, and I'll talk about it why it's tough. 94 short, 90 medium, 92 deep actually, 93 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, and 93 play action. Powered up. What you need to have to get Gunslinger is, I believe, 95 throw power and 95 overall. Powered up. Uh, on an improvisory, that's what you have to have. Powered up, he hits the 95 threshold, but look at that. Throw power is 93. So, powered up, only going to get the 94. The only way he can get Gunslingers if he had, has another insane week. He gets a little plus one upgrade, and then hopefully that throw power will go up with the upgrade. That's the only chance he does. I believe that's what it is. I think you have to have 90, be a 95 overall with 95 throw power to get Gunslinger on an improvising, improviser quarterback. Uh, but, man... That's kind of tough, but you know, other than that, he's a really good quarterback, but it just kind of stinks that he's just that close to getting Gunslinger, uh, which would have made him one of the best quarterbacks in the game, um, depending on how much you like, um, you know, uh, I'm drawing a blank here, uh, my goodness, Hot Route Master, my god. My brain went absolutely blank for a second. Unless you'd like to rock with a hot route master quarterback, uh, you know, this is not a bad look. Um, but yeah, with that being said, guys coming tomorrow, got Robert Hunt full back out of position card. Uh, we're going to have 90 set pieces now. So the high set pieces are going to be 90 overalls now. So they might be a little, they might be pretty good. Um, I don't expect to see a Titan because no one really had an outstanding performance uh, for us. Um, Big Jeff had two two sacks. I don't think he'll obviously he got one last week, so I don't think he'll get one again this year uh, this week. But um, yeah, other than that, Titans game. I can't think of anyone um, offensively. It was kind of an interesting day offensively for for um, this this week's team of the week. No one really stood out except for Mahomes. So we'll see what the high set piece is. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that is gonna do it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy until next time i'll see y'all